Hi everyone, so I just want to do a very short video clip showing you guys how Apple CarPlay works. So I'm going to be using this Volvo S90 to demonstrate it. So uh, I've not been able to demonstrate this before because in the past I had an old Samsung uh, Galaxy S3 Mini, but I recently just bought myself an iPhone 5S, so now I can demonstrate it. So let's just hop into the car and get started. So I was using this yesterday and it turned out to be a lot simpler than I imagined. I'll just power on the car first. Okay, so you need three things for this. You need a car with Apple CarPlay, which we got, an iPhone, and you need a feed as well for your phone. Now this one I bought in a local shop there for nine euros, so I have two of them. I can keep the original white one at home and I can just take this one with me to work. So, you locate your USB ports, and in the case of the Volvo S90, they are located just down there. You can probably just about make them out there in that low light. So, I'm going to plug in the USB. And we can just actually close this down. And we just have to connect it to the phone. Okay, so just scroll over to the left screen on the S90 and you have the icon there. And as you can see, when I click into that, CarPlay shows up on the phone. And everything that would normally be on my main home screen on my phone projects up here. And it even gives me my name as well, S Early. And you can go to your phone, your music, your maps, your messages and so on from here. So um, if I go into the maps, for example, any previous destinations, as you can see that I would have sat on my phone before, will come up here and I can just select them and if I go back it just shows you the map and you can just navigate around and you even got the back button from the actual iPhone itself and that's it it's a very simple system and it's actually very simple to use I was expecting it to be a bit more complicated than it is so I'm actually just going to demonstrate the text messaging uh, you have to uh, be very clear when you're speaking of course so um, to explain how it works Basically, when you're driving your car, you cannot obviously be using your phone because it's illegal and it's reckless. Uh, it's just a very stupid thing to do to try and text while driving. Uh, so what you do is you click the messages and then you speak the message that you want to send to a person. So I'm actually going to try and demonstrate now as best I can. Who would you like to text? Declan Travers. What do you want to say to Declan Travers? Hello Declan, I am demonstrating Apple CarPlay. Your message says, Hello Declan, I am demonstrating Apple CarPlay. Ready to send it? Send. I'll send your message. And there you have it, so it's really that simple. Um, you can also go to your contacts as well, so you can see all my previ previous messages from before. And I just hit the back button again. So when you're using that uh, text message service, uh, as I said earlier, it's just important to make sure you speak clearly so that you know you don't send the wrong message to someone. And you can also, of course, make phone calls from here. Now, I don't store any music on my phone because I prefer you know, not to use up as that much storage and also because I have an MP3 player as well. But when you do have music on your phone, you can go through from here and you can also look at what's uh, playing now. And you can also go to your podcast and your audiobooks and everything from here. And it really is that simple. There's nothing else to it. Um, I believe next year, BMW's new 5 Series will be the first car to offer a wireless version of this. Now, I'm not really too fussed about that. Frankly, I think I'm all right with it being wired because it also means, if I actually check here, it charges the phone while you have it plugged in. So I'm perfectly okay with a wired connection. And also, there's a lot of other manufacturers taking on Apple CarPlay. A couple off the top of my head include Ferrari. Volkswagen, Audi, Lamborghini, Porsche, basically most of the manufacturers that Volkswagen controls these days. Uh, Volvo, of course, Toyota, Ford, and I'm pretty sure there's many more manufacturers that will be signing up uh, next year as well. So if I just unplug my phone, it goes away. And also when it's not connected, as you will see here, Apple CarPlay is not lit up. So you just connect in your phone, everything shows up there. It's as easy as can be. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you find this video useful and uh, I'll see you again next time.